Hey, I'm Critzy. Welcome to. I don't know. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, like every, every time. Every time. Hey, welcome to, like, episode. I don't know. Four, I want to say. Yeah, whatever. If you're here at this point, congratulations. You're a super fan, because <laughs> I imagine most people aren't watching uh, four episodes in. Welcome to. <laughs> Welcome to Dwarf Fortress. Yeah. <clears throat> so, last time we left off, I managed to get part of the tavern built. Not quite totally finished, because I was starting to get frazzled and everything, and I feel like I was doing bad. And, uh, I don't know, it wasn't working too good. Today, we're going to be listening to World of Warcraft music again. Wow, big surprise. Haha. <laughs> uh, but, a little change. We're going to be listening to um, Red Ridge Mountains um, this time. Which is kind of a similar environment. It's more of like a, a you know, a arid, mountainy place. I don't know, kind of. Uh, it doesn't matter. Anyway, I figure because, you know, we're a little more civilized than we used to be. A little bit loud. A little bit, a little bit loud. And, uh, you know, things are starting to look up, and Red Ridge Mountain is a civilized place with civilized people. And also a lot of gnolls. And murlocs. And Eddins. Anyway, welcome back to the game, everybody. Let me, uh, what's, what's going on? Alright, I stopped the game because an elven caravan arrived. I don't really want to trade much with the elves. They don't, I forgot to build a depot. Fantastic. I don't really want to trade much with the elves, but they do have lots of wood, which is something that I desire. My heart's desire. A caravan of wood. Right there, I guess. Um, logs, sure. Right? Oh, I wish I could tell them to stop building all this stuff to do that one, but, you know, maybe they'll prioritize it on their own. Anyway, hi, welcome back to Dwarf Fortress. I'm Critzy Bear. I hope you're having a beautiful time. Today I'm going to be your, uh, your narrator. Uh, to the left, we've got a bunch of logs in a field. And center view, we've got the tavern that's under construction. As you can see, it's taking so goddamn long that it's starting to grow grass. Haha! <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> <sighs> anyway, I expect sometime in this episode things will start to pick up, because I am um, going to be building the big ol' Tavaruni. And now we're going to suspend all of the constructions, because clearly they can't control themselves enough to do priority to work. Fantastic. Nope, nope, nope. Of course, I have to miss several. Okay. Uh, anyway, um, I didn't actually say it this episode, but uh, thank you to uh, thank you to Blizzard who are cool enough to let people use their music and stuff in productions, uh, as long as they don't cost money or um, as long as you don't ask for ads or anything. It's cool, you know. Anyway, that obligatory statement out of the way. What is going on with my clay pit? I don't want grass in there. But I can't build roads over ramps. So I guess we we got a grassy pit now. Great. Whatever. It, it's fine. Oh, I remember I mentioned last time. See, look, more fish given birth. See, I wasn't lying. Even though I showed you the announcements, uh, you didn't get to witness it, though. Uh, anyway, how are you guys doing? You st okay, good. The depot is built. However, where are the elves? Where you at, dude? You coming? Okay, good, they're coming. Um, we need some goods here. Goods, we need, like, I don't know... 
Oh boy, I only have plants. I don't know, is it just wood that, that they don't like, or do they not like any plants? <sighs> where, are the, where are the dwarves at? Ah, oh, come on, guys. They were way down in the temple or something. <sighs> there is a pig sharing that dwarf's meal. Let me drink a little more of my coffee. I've decided I'm going to try to make more pleasant noises when I drink my coffee, instead of acting like it's disgusting, which it is. Coffee is gross, especially cold coffee. But still, I feel like I can make it sound like it's more pleasant. Like, mmm. <sighs> nice cup of joe. Great. Okay, so I think that's probably enough to get the um, broker over here. Yep, thank you. Trade. Yolk? Egg? Feather tree? Oh no, they won't like that at all. They won't like that at all. No, sir. Okay, anyway. Oh, let me get, let me get you some, uh, let me get some wood, dude. And they don't have any wood. Never mind, you're useless to me. God damn, cat. Oh, it's irritating. None of these dang caravans taking any wood. They're God dang joke. Look at how little they took. God dang it. It's like they don't, they don't think I got anything for them here. They underestimate me. They underestimate what we're capable of. Let me just, to be safe, trade them only animal products. Yeah. Because I honestly don't know... I honestly don't know if they're afraid of plants in general, or just trees. Like, I know I should probably know by now, but I never trade with the elves other than in, like, food. Well, I guess, you know, food's likely got plant stuff in it, so... Presumably, they're fine with it. Anyway, you guys can, uh... You guys, you guys can stop now. We don't need any more. No more pending? Okay. Alright, um... Okay. Now I can unsuspend all these things meticulously. You know, Red Ridge feels like one of those regions that people never go to. Oh, cool, the tavern music. We can get a little break from the abysmalness of, of everything else. Nah, 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 we gotta skip it. We gotta skip it. We gotta wait until the tavern is actually up and running it in order to get the tavern music. God dang it, just, just go. Skip past it. There, that's where the screenshot changes. Okay. I'm sorry. We have to wait. We have to wait before we get chill tavern songs. Just we gotta wait until we earn it, you know? Gotta wait until we're the cream of the crop. I guess... I guess the fact that the uh, mud on the bottom of the ponds doesn't grow grass when it dries up. I guess that would be an indication of, no, I'm not gonna grow any grass if I muddy the tops of these buildings. You know? Oh, by the way, I need more clay up here. I do have clay, yes, or... Okay, good. I have a little bit. Probably not enough, but whatever. Do I have more in production? 
probably enough if I get the construction, uh, if I get the order done. Let me get the miner to do a little work here. I wanted like eight hatch covers, right? So two, four, six, eight. No, wait, duh, idiot. <laughs> I counted those both as two. There, that should be good, right? And then am I gonna have a staircase going down there? Alright, so I'm gonna wanna dig that out. I think under there I'm going to put the kitchen. And in those other, um, in those eight things, I'm going to put eight rooms. Maybe eventually I can expand it to have like a, a dance floor going off in this direction and a, um, a common room going off there in case I have too many guests and not enough beds. I mean, do guests even use the beds? I don't know what the rooms are for. I mean, I guess I can research it. Or a fortress inn. There. Regarding taverns and bedrooms. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Yep, there. Uh, you can assign any bedroom to a tavern. Um, uh, as far as I can tell, performers assigned to a location use dance floor. Uh, bedrooms should be assigned. I don't know. It doesn't say if they actually use the bedroom or not. It just says that it works if they aren't actually part of the main location. Ah, <sighs> whatever. Oh, you almost done with the top there? No. I forgot how slowly these guys work. And this is probably the only episode I'm going to be able to get out today because I started recording late. Hmm. Well, I can't find anything, so... Maybe I should make another doodle. Nobody really commented on my last doodle, so I don't know if it's good or not. <laughs> I mean, if, if, like, the doing that is good. I know it's not good. Hmm. I kind of like... I mean, I'm not... I'm still not totally sold on the red roofs, but I like how it, like... I like... I guess maybe I've just got, like, ASCII vision from from playing this game like this so much, but it kind of looks to me like actual, you know, houses next to each other. I'm not sure about this monstrosity here, but uh, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll see about that. <sighs> I'm really stoked to make a fence out of uh, fortifications. But I don't think anyone's going to raid a two-person fortress. Because, you know, there's not much wealth to attract raiders. I don't know, though. I don't know the prerequisites for goblin sieges at this on, on this version. Good, they finished the doors, at least. Oh my god, it's so slow. Oh. Yeah, you know what I'm going to do? How about I just... You know, make a little... Dirt road here. You know, uh... How about somewhere near the crafting areas? You know, near the kiln, sure. Make a dirt road there. Now bear with me here. 
And here, uh, once we get... Let me move this as a clay collecting zone. Once that place is empty of clay, I'll open up, open it up to that pond. <clears throat> and then we'll use this area as our main clay collection thing. And if it runs out of clay, we can just build another one. Mm. Let me build it a little closer. Dang, I can't build one big one around the trading depot. All right, um, about right there. Yeah, sure. It'll look unnatural at first, but eventually it'll it'll uh, even out and start growing grass in places until I eventually have to recreate it. I mean, technically, I don't even have to because there's like permanent patches of uh, clay in places. And so I think my dwarves are wearing a rut on the way to the clay. I feel like it's no coincidence that that one patch right there doesn't have any grass on it. Anyway, yeah. Let me get my tablet out, I guess. I'll think of something to doodle. And just so that there's more going on than just dwarves carrying clay around. Okay. There we go. Nice and plugged in. Now let me move my microphone. Hopefully I don't disconnect it. There. That should work. All right. Let me see if my... Is it working? Cool. Woo, 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 woo. Okay. Open up Psy. Okay. Now get a little window... I wish I knew how to make window captures transparent. I used... To, I swear. I was, oh. They're worried about the clay now. Okay, but they're building the road. Yeah, get out of here, elves. There's Sai. You make sure you can see the announcements. Does that look good? No, need it needed to be a little more to the left, like one pixel to the. Well, I guess I won't be getting it one pixel to the right, rather not left. Come on there. Ah, you know what I can do. And make it slightly larger. No, no, it's too far to the right. God damn it! Ha! There. Oh my god. This is why. This is why my family teases me about having OCD. Even though I clearly don't actually have OCD. Okay, how are you guys doing before I do anything? Building stuff? Okay. Uh, you are now a clay collection zone. Yup. And it does indeed work. Okay, so making a road in a surface clay works as clay collection. Anyway, so let me just get like a, I don't know, a nice calm color like that. Yeah, sure. Now really black tiny bit of color just in case I need to change it. If you make it pure black, it's a pain in the ass to, uh, if you just want to go through with the, um, color shifting thing to change it easily. Well, how are you guys doing on the construction? Ah, about halfway done with the work I assigned them to. Okay, zoom in. Okay, let me see if... Oh, it's working fine. Okay, what should I draw? How about just a dwarf? You, you, you. How about our, our, our founding dwarves, you know? That look like a dwarf shape to you? Eh? And then just like some head-sized shoulders and stubby arms. Okay. 
how about how, how about they're like like they're proud of their work. They got their hands on their shoulders. Their stubby dwarf hands on their shoulders. I mean, <laughs> on their hips. Yeah, dude. They did good. And they're big dwarf hands. Big big dwarf hands. I don't know. Oh, he looks kind of sassy to me. I don't like it. I don't like the way he's looking at me. Draw a little button there. There. Now, uh, he's got real stubby dwarf legs. Big, dumb dwarf feet. Then, can't forget the beard. You know, that's going to be detailed later. Okay, uh, should he be bald? I don't know. Do dwarves have pointed ears in Dwarf Fortress? Like, you know... Little like, boop, boop, or is that more of a gnome thing? I don't know. I'm just, I don't know. <laughs> Dumb derpy ass face. Okay. And then, uh, does is the girl the miner? Uh, you are the she, and you are, yeah, she's the miner. So she's gonna be like slightly taller, I think. Slightly taller dwarf. With shoulders that aren't quite as ridiculously huge. No, just you no know, half a head. <laughs> uh let me let me retract that a little bit. Let me make her like slightly tilted, you know? You know, whoa, that's too tilted. Whoa, that, the, the chill is too big with that one. Alright, uh... I don't know. See, the idea I had is, like, you know, leaning on her on her pickaxe like that. Like, haha, <laughs> yeah, look at me, I'm, I'm a real chill dwarf. I don't know, or would they, like, use shovels since we're mostly building in the dirt layer? There's big... Fancy dwarven shovels. You know, even when they're digging in the muddy dirt, they gotta have have uh, pride in their work. Heckin' butt. I forgot the butt. I gotta make sure I do the butt. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're they're real smug dwarves. And she's gotta have like a little beard, you know. Gotta, gotta indicate that she's a she's a girl dwarf, you know. And, like some fucking scraggly ass girl dwarf hair. I don't know in braids or something. <laughs> okay. And uh, then they're like, I don't know if I'm gonna have time to put this in, but like in in front of the big, like uh, whoop, big uh doorway to their tavern. Eh. Eh. This. Hmm. Eh. Eh. Get some, uh, like, little dwarven ironworks there. some divots and then uh it's gonna be like grassy up there nope 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 can't intersect with the main piece Build some like uh hills going up here like some grassy bushes there Nice cozy dwarven tavern hall thing. Some like, uh, I don't know. Even though there isn't technically grass up there, you know? In reality. You know, art, art mimics reality. It d doesn't go the other way. Uh, wait, no. Whatever I'm trying to think of. Okay, and then up there is going to be like a fancy window. 
which is indeed a case of art mimicking, I mean, reality mimicking art, because I didn't get that idea until just now. Okay. How's that shit looking? I mean, it's a little simplistic, because... Oh, how are you guys doing? Uh... You guys working on these? Okay, yeah, they are. They're almost done, so I'm gonna have to pay attention in a second. Uh, you... We're gonna need, like, a chimney up here or something. Nice, uh, fantasy dwarf chimney. And, like, grass around it. Yeah, dude. Some nice grass. That's the fluffy fantasy grass I like to see. Okay. And we gotta, like, make the outlines of bricks a little bit. Or should I make it, like, cobblestone? Eh? Yeah, I think I'm gonna go for cobblestone here. I know I suck at art, okay? You don't gotta... You don't gotta say anything. But if you'd like to commission me, you know what it'll take? It'll take a common. And uh, that's it. <clears throat> I'm, I'm desperate for attention, okay? And then there's gonna be like, I don't know, mud caked in it, even though I don't think I'm gonna get around to colors. Can you hear me okay? I don't know if I don't know if my microphone's in a good place or not. Uh, I don't know. How, you guys done yet? Okay, time to work on the next part. Alright. So I can't remember what I'm gonna put up here. Okay. Whoa. Oh god, it's gonna I'm gonna have to sort through the dang steel beam every single time. Okay, um, notifications right here, even though that's not technically a window, no one's going to be able to get through it, no one's even going to notice. Okay, and right there, right there, right there, oh boy, uh, right there, and right there, yeah. Yeah, looking good. Looking good. Oh, shoot. I don't actually have pillars on the door. Oh, heck. Huh. Well, you know, it's a little unrealistic. Oh, and also, we gotta make sure that it's, like, log cabin walls. Right? In the areas where the walls are showing. That looking dwarfy? I don't know. Eh, I don't know about that slope. You know? God damn it. Stop. Whatever. I'm probably not going to get over there anyway. Okay. I'm going to make that slightly trans... Oh, I forgot that the whole background is... Ugh. I'm going to have to redo that background. There. Alright. Now I have to reselect the dang color. Some idiot didn't use the correct color transfer thing. Okay, now make that slightly transparent. Now I'll get another layer in here. And we're gonna go over to dwarves again. Except this time with uh, more scrutiny. How's, how's you guys? It's probably not gonna take as long, right? Uh, it apparently is, because all the, all the stuff is far away. Okay. So this guy's gotta have like a beautiful square head. Like slightly pointed ears, and then uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. And like a big, big mustache. Oh yeah, dude, with thick outlines. 
Oh, whoop, that side's too high. <laughs> oh, no. Careful, gotta groom your mustache a little better. And then a big dwarfy nose. Yeah, dude. Big dwarfy eyebrows. I don't know. I gotta touch up the outline over there, but unfortunately, doing things with pixels makes it hard to uh, erase things. Because, like, the erase tool in Psy, like, decreases the opacity of things rather than straight up erasing pixels, which can make things look a little funny. Uh, let me zoom in a little more. Like, do this with a pixel gradient. So it looks like it's, like, you know, fading in. Sure. And I guess make the outline a little thicker down there. Okay. Now little sunken dwarven eyes. Under there. Oh, man, he looks a little too fierce, I think, for a cozy... Cozy tavern owner. But whatever. And I guess a little hint of his ear over here. Hint isn't tall enough. There. That'll that'll work. How are you guys doing? Huh? Oh man. Oh man, they won't build these ones diagonally. God damn it. Ah well. I gotta work on this anyway. There. Oh shoot, one of them's ah, uh, she's gonna get stuck down there. Alright, I'll remove that one later. Build a downstairs out of wood. No, wait, wait, wait. That needs to be an up downstairs. There. Where is it? There it is. Okay. There's wood. Actually, do you even need to remove the ramps to build? No, you don't. Okay. No. Why, why can't I build it all the way? Whatever. There. That's fine. Oh, shoot. I won't be able to fit the kitchen down here, will I? Oh, dang. Whatever. I can build hallways. That can be the uh, food stockpile. Okay. We're fine. Okay. Anyway, back to this. Need him to have, like, a thick outline down here to imply his lips. Mmm, too thick. A little too thick. Mmm, should I, like, black out this entire area? No, that makes him look ominous. He needs to look cozy, you know? And like, uh, ugh, I don't, I don't want to work on his beard until I know how he's, how his shoulders are going to go. Let me look at what clothing he's wearing. That might work for inspiration. Uh, you. What are you wearing? What are you wearing? Uh, trousers, shirt, robe. I don't want to, I want to ignore the robe and cloak. <laughs> and dwarves overdress, okay? Okay, um... Alright, sure. Um, which side is the lighting going to be coming from? Probably the left. Because, uh... No, because that would be sunset. How about the right? Yeah, sure. Alright, so I want the outlines to be thicker on the left. Thicker! Mm. Around his dwarven muscles. Mm -hmm. 
I don't know, that, that beard looks too thin, dude. He's gotta be like a little beardling, you know? Gotta be like covering most of his body. He, does, he doesn't even need clothes. He just wears them to be polite to his guests. Hell yeah, hell yeah, look at the size of that beard. Aw oh, yeah, dude. Oh wait, no, it's a little lopsided. Symmetry, you need symmetry. Like it needs to, I don't know, I'll work on the, on the back half in a minute. And then, uh... I don't know, should his hand be going this way or that way? I guess that way. A little dwarf thumb. I won't put too much trouble into the hands. I'm shit at hands. Okay, and then his little dwarf arm. His stubby-ass dwarf arm. Okay. Hmm. Should I go back and put, like, an ornament in his beard? Nah. Nah, ornament, beard ornaments are for girl dwarfs. <laughs> Someone needs to mod in beard ornaments. That is like something only dwarves can make. Mmm, no, wow. How to make your dwarf look deformed, dude. Be critsy. Holy shit. Um, wowie. Holy cow. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Wow, uh, I'm gonna have to like excise part of his arm. I fucked up majorly. Oh, how are my dwarves? Gotta check. Uh, you guys done yet? Uh, yes, I forgot about you guys. Uh, oh well, they got a little break, I guess. Okay, oh wait, no. Need an up downstairs there. Okay, a bunch of wood. Yeah, great. You're doing great. Great job! Also, this arm is thicker than the other one. So I gotta take care of that a little bit. My goodness, it is hot in here. See, but like... This arm is slightly stubbier than the other one, so the only way that could be explained is that it's like either... Going forward or backwards? Does that look like he's only got two fingers? I meant it to look like he's only got three fingers. Uh, see, this is why I don't draw people much, because it's like... These fucking hands get me every time. Whatever. It's not like anyone's paying for this. People have tried to pay me for art before. That isn't me bragging. I just... I, I can't do it, you know? It cost me literally nothing to make. I enjoy doing it. Okay. That was, uh... Spider silk trousers. Around his... Whatever... Shoes. Okay. Cute little dwarf shoes. Little, uh, little pant cuff. Ooh, no, that one's a little too tilted. Did you see that there's a new Steven Universe episode out? I know a lot of people here probably don't watch Steven Universe, but uh, I'm excited for it. I'm a man of many tastes, okay? I feel like his clothing here is a little lacking. Because his beard is in the way, you know? I don't know. How's he look from far away? Wow, that is some shitty handcrafts. Let me zoom it in for you a little bit, because I know it's hard to see. Look at that terrible, terrible dwarf. 
Wow. He just looks way too skinny. Wow. Whatever. I'll like add a cloak or something, or maybe it's, it's like his beard extends to his back. Nah, cloak. Whoa, drawing on the wrong layer. Okay. You. Yeah, he has his cloak. Whatever. Um. I would add in like a hood or something, but. Whatever, I guess uh, it's, you know, weird perspective. Whatever. Alright, now the girl dwarf. Um. Oh, I for No, I didn't forget his eyes. Okay, so. Oh, God. Look at this mess. Oh. It's gonna have, like, uh. Her hair's gonna be pulled back. Yeah? And it's gotta be, like, messy terrible dwarf hair then like uh, well, gotta get her little pointed ears then behind from the ear it's gotta have like little uh, dwarf decorations on her mighty sideburn hair oh no that's what I should have done that okay okay yeah yeah mighty sideburns mighty braided sideburns Okay, let me draw her ears. Oh, wait. Ah, oh, I think I undo too many things, but... Okay. Her mighty side buttons. Dwarf women have strongest side buttons. You know, just have a beard cuff. You know, a stereotypical dwarven beard cuff. She looks a little flat-chested, but that's okay. I'm not drawing it to be lewd. Oh man, I don't think I actually enabled female beards. That's a shame. Awful shame. What a mighty dwarf. Nah, it looks a little like a scorpion stinger. You? Whatever. That'll work. You? How are you guys doing on those stairs? I always forget to check shit. Uh, okay. I can start working on the floor. Never mind, I need to do the uh, downstairs up here. Okay. I guess I can uh, start working on the dirt road down here. Well, there's not really anything to get in the way. Because I think tables and stuff are going to prevent the road from being easy to construct. Let me close that drawer. How long have we been recording? 45 minutes, okay. Okay. Back in dwarf beards, am I right? Oh shoot, I wanted it braided, didn't I? Eh. 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 Oh god, that doesn't look braided at all. Oh boy. Whatever, it's made with pixels. Maybe people won't notice. <laughs> okay, and then on her mighty dwarf shoulders. Leaning on her mighty dwarf shovel. I guess I'll give her an actual shirt, huh? Nice and feminine, you know? <laughs> uh, how would her hand be held like that? Um, 
Okay, so like with the pinky on the outside? Nope, a little too cartoonish. It'd be nice and blocky. Nice blocky dwarf fingers. Wow. Great. Oh, don't lean too much. You might fall down. That's a wonky line, but whatever. It's a mighty dwarf shovel. Dwarves don't care about perfection. They care about craftsmanship. Which uh, is somehow not synonymous. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. It can't be curvy. It's uh, it's dwarven. It needs to be angular. There. Now, make sure this side's vaguely braided, too. Oh, but this side's going to be covered by the arm a little bit, so it doesn't quite matter as much, does it? Where is it? Would the braid be in front? Ah. I don't know. How are you guys doing on that construction? Alright, road is done. Floor, pretty much done. Okay, let me, this is gonna take a sec. In there, and... There. Now let me start working on the furniture. Oh boy, ah. Uh, okay, floor hatches. There, 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 ba bear, hit there, oop, I thought that other X was the one I was looking for, there, there, and now I can do this, the, uh, chest, right around, uh, I guess, over here, and tables, Nice tables around the edge. Not like even tables either. Like I said, jankiness is is paramount to dwarfliness. And this isn't the dancing room, this is the eating and getting drunk room. Oh, those ones don't count as inside yet. Okay. Or is it tantamount? Hmm. Paramount is a movie studio. Oh god, I'm I'm such an idiot. Okay, now we need the chairs. Chair. This chair. The chair. 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 Chair, 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 and chair. There, we're all done, I think. I think that might be everything. Okay. We'll wait a second for that to be done. In the meanwhile, uh... Hmm. I, I guess she's holding her belly. Wow. Wow. What an awful, awful hand. Oh boy. Uh, how, how about, how about like, uh. How about she just has a broken wrist doing that? Their stubby dwarven arm. Hers isn't quite as angular, because she's a pretty girl dwarf. Well, also, she's got a... Sleeves. You know, nice feminine sleeves. I guess I would need to make this side thicker too, huh? Okay. Alright. 
make her tunic a little longer. You know, gotta indicate however possible that she's a girl dwarf. In Tolkien's universe, I'm pretty sure there's literally no way to tell the difference between a, a male and female dwarf unless you're a dwarf. Oh no! Oh no, the grass line! It goes lower on her foot! Oh shoot! Oh no. That's gonna... that's bad. Because I forgot there's no grass here. Oh no. Alright, well. That'll have to work. Okay, there's my happy... Oh, wait, she don't got no eyes. She's gonna have bigger eyebrows. Because she's the girl dwarf. Not gonna make it a unibrow, though. I have some mercy. <laughs> Oh my god, she looks like a character from Darkest Dungeon now, with those fucking shadowed eyes. She looks so mortified. Okay, let me finish up my coffee. I'm starting to get sleepy. <sighs> he looks just kind of like, strung out, and she looks mortified to be here. It's because of the sunlight, dude. Mm, I made her tunic a little too thin. She's gotta be thicker. That's where her tunic splits, you know? It's it's definitely not just because I, I was I was lazy and forgot to draw there. You know? Alright. Yeah, they both look a little wonky. But, you know... That's my style. It's the way I draw. Okay, now we gotta work on the background a little bit. Just, you know, make it a little cleaner. Not too clean, though. Because remember, these are like, uh, you know, raw wooden supports and stuff. Oh, whoop, oh, 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 god dang it. I liked that better before I added the second line, but now I'm never going to get it back, you know? All right, I wanted to uh, wanted to make the light come from the right, so I should make the outline thicker on the uh, on the left, yeah, or from the east. Uh oh, uh oh, what happened? What happened? Uh, my tablet working okay? Okay, my tablet's working okay. It's it was sigh for some reason. <laughs> okay. Ah, oh, no, my line. Dang it. I was very attached to that line, clearly. Nope, 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 nope. See, I made that blade of grass too thick. How are you guys doing? Done with the tavern? Yeah, okay, they're done with that step. Now they just gotta build the rest of this. Um, rooms can come... Rooms can come later. Like, next episode, probably. Right now, this episode, I just want to focus on getting some guests in, you know? And finally having somebody else to break the silence. Okay. No. Oop, oop, too curvy. Now over here. I'll make this side a little thicker. Use erratic strokes so it looks a little woody. Okay. Now I'll add a couple, like, wood lines. You know, wood lines. How do I make these, these look like Kirby? 
Oh, I know. Put some grass there. But leave the grass off on the middle. You know. Like the real artists. How, how's, uh, how's the floor? Guys, uh... Oh, are we out of drinks? No, buckets just happen to be there. Okay. Now we can build the final step of the clay. Great. Okay. Clay loam. Uh-oh. Might not have enough. Uh-oh. Okay, I guess we don't got enough. Um, Clay. Collect clay. Just four for now. Okay. Let me make sure we're up there. Oh, I just realized this this is kind of like tilting in the opposite direction. So let me grab that. Grab that and flip it. Yeah, sure, that, that'll work fine. That's real art. Okay. Oh, we need like these little dwarvy, dwarvy divots. Okay, and like, a couple on the sides. No, that would be higher, right? Not lower. Okay. Divots? What was that ringing? Is that part of the... Please tell me that was part of the, uh, music. Yes. Yes, it was. Okay, good. Alright. Let me make a little tree root coming out here. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Even though there's literally no way I'll ever grow a tree on top of this tavern. Okay. Oh, gotta build the logs here. Yeah, dude. And now grass. Because this is where the slope starts. I am so bad at drawing foliage. I just kind of draw a shag carpet and paint it green. Okay. Nope, nope, nope. Quit. Nope. No ads. Nope. Oh, I see. Because the music ended. Okay. Okay. How long have we been doing this? Uh, almost an hour. Man, it takes an hour to finish every building. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Right, I forgot. It's got to be, like, uh, slightly curvy. This one? Why is it so loud suddenly? Okay, no, those divots are way closer on this one. That can't go. That's no good. Sonic says, say no, and then I can't remember what he says next. Let me turn that down a little bit. How are you doing, dwarves? You're doing okay. You like my art? I promise I'll never do it again if it's boring. Oh, god dang it, I forgot these ones got to be slightly lower. There, and there. A tree root coming through here. It's just happy little root. Looks kind of like a boot, but that don't matter. It's the boot root. It's where they get their power from. Okay, now I gotta do the logs over here. I'm gonna do the outlines a little less intense over here. Oh, 
Oh shoot, I did summon the grass. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, now the archway. Now are these logs or... Hmm. Oh shoot, I, I did the crude lines. I gotta do the meticulous, focused lines. Now I'm gonna say this is timber, not just straight up logs. Remember, outline's got to be a little more intense on this side. Wow, that's a little too intense, okay? Yeah, that's that's fine. It's perfect, sure. Okay, and just uh, a couple a couple planky lines. And a couple more on this side. Whoa! Oh, you know what I forgot? I forgot to do door stuff. Is it like a straight door, or angular, like a dwarf? Clearly, dwarves are the most angular of species. Oh, but how do I indicate this is like behind this stuff? I guess maybe making it super thick on the shading? Making it a darker color later? Sure, I'll just make it a darker color later. How am I going to do this door? Like, clearly it's got to have, like, this line down the middle. That's a big d door. Well, no, honestly, it's probably not that big of a door. Because, like, we're talking about dwarfs. Dwarfs. I hate people who say dwarfs. We're, we're talking about dwarves here. Rock. Wow, that don't look like a rock. That looks like some kind of animal nest. A little rock on the road. Along with a couple pebbles. Wow, I have no idea how to make, make a better indication that that is where road is. <laughs> Other than, like, squiggly lines. How are you guys doing on that construction? Almost done. How are you doing on the clay? Haven't started on the clay yet. That's okay. What are you guys doing? Still constructing buildings. Thank goodness we only have two dwarves to feed. Otherwise, this labor shortage would be lethal. We're already starting to grow things down there, too. Let me make this a meeting area. Okay, meeting area. Not gonna assign it a location yet. Okay, so what am I gonna do with this door? I guess maybe I'll like make it fancy, fancy diagonal wood. With like crude timber as uh, as accents, you know? Oh, also I want like some thick some thick ass hinges you know thick enough to serve some minotaurs you know okay now diagonal wood yeah dude looking fancy and then diagonal this way. I don't know what the term for this carpentry maneuver would be. All I know is make wood diagonal. <laughs> okay, what is this material up here? Is this also wood? 
and does it is is it ahead of this stuff or is it like at the same position whatever doesn't matter right now i guess it's also wood maybe maybe it's cobblestone i don't know all right so now grass up here A little tree root. Sure. Alright, let me zoom out and see what we got so far. Wow, that looks like shit. That looks awful. How you guys... Ah, clay is done. We can finally finish the building. Yeah, the top doesn't look great, but... You know. Yep, got the right measurement. Okay... And whenever they're done with that... Nope, no happy music yet. Nope, we cannot celebrate. Get, get, get out of here. Get out of here. Nope. I mean, I like it. It just, it also looks awful. Let me save that to my desktop. Uh, dwarf. It's like overcomplicated and... Yeah. Whatever. Keep going. Uh, unless I just... Mm, now nah, I'll do up here, too. Okay. You. Cute, thin little window slats. But also made of raw timber, so... Not too cute. It's gotta be a little... A little ugly. Like the dwarves, you know? Would you want to come here to eat? Would you want to eat here with... With, <laughs> with this face in front? <laughs> so, she looks so sullen. She looks... She looks awful. Okay, I can uh, make the tavern now. Um... Add location, in slash tavern, um, courageous butter, alright, whatever, attract a lot of adventurers and with a name like that, okay, and now make them both tavern keepers, hell yeah, alright, let's see how soon we attract guests, oh, reminds me, I gotta build a, um, a couple food stockpiles, okay, that's where prepared food will go, that's where drinks will go, Ban everything except drink. Whoa! Drinks. Okay, and take from the big food stockpile. I will have to make a permanent food stockpile in a little bit. And you, nothing but, but prepared food. And take from daddy. Yes, good. Fantastic. Fantastic. Let's see how long it takes to attract a person. <laughs> that face has just been in the corner this whole time. <laughs> okay. Alright, moving on. I think I'm gonna put some more lines in these up here. It's gonna be a pain in the ass to color this, dude. Pain in the dang booty. Alright, I was working on the window. Like a little branch sticking out. You know, dwarves were like, hey, this one's got a branch in it. Ah, oh, don't worry about it! That's what the girl one sounds like, by the way. In case you didn't know, that's her canon voice now. Honey bun! <coughs> Don't go swimming! I think the carps are a little excited today! Okay, now some logs. I 
want to make like a little tree root sticking out of here. And then going back into the grass to explain why there's roots all over the goddamn place. I don't know, if it was a tree root, there would be like more dirt around it, right? And it would be like half buried. So let me just... Boop! Remove that section. Make a little grassy place. I don't know. Whatever, there's a rock there. Now, it's not dirt, it's a, it's a rock. It's a god dang rock, okay? Okay. Now, whoop. Grassy little split there. It's like the place where your hair cha changes directions, you know? Oh, shoot, I just realized this was meant to be a log. Oh, sh god dang idiot. Ah. Oh. Okay. There. Now there. Okay, now logs. Retracted anyone yet? Hey, we got friends! Hey, 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 yeah, dude! Fucking finally, they're only military. They're military dudes. Oh, but the Baron and Countess are here. Cool. Man, word spread quick. Shoot, dude. Holy heck. Simulate and I'm. Oh, he's singing. He's he's like going bow, or something. I might have had too much coffee, okay? Mm. Ah, oh. ah mm, I just love it. I love it when coffee grounds get into the bottom of my cup. Oh, delicious. Mm. Anyway, <laughs> I guess I'll uh, finish up this window and... Uh... Whoop, man. And then I'll focus on the game a little bit. Yep. Oh heck. Oh. Yeah, see this is what I mean about making it a little overcomplicated. This is not a goddamn mural, I don't need information everywhere. Also, I need some gra- Hello? Sai, you okay? Okay. I need some grass in front of this. Boy, that looks bad. Alright. Maybe I need a bush somewhere. You know? A happy little bush. Anyway. Let me turn off the line art layer. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot I put the dwarves on a separate layer. <laughs> okay. That's the wrong one again. Okay, line art gone. Here's what we got. How do you think? What do you think? Think it looks okay? Think that's a good depiction of Warm Blankets Tavern? Well, it's going to have to be, because that's where I'm stopping today. Hear that sound? Hear that sound? That was me unplugging my tablet. Oh boy, I am a slippy guy. Alright, well. I mean, honestly, it turned out better than I expected. I expected to not even finish it. I expected to give up. Oh, let me, let me just make this a little bigger. So you can get a better look at it. That's all I got so far. But see, that's what I'm imagining. That's what I think of when I think of hill dwarves. Oh man, the perspective here is a little hecked. See, but the 
problem is, with Psy, if you try to make things smaller, like a so, see, it works fine at first. See, it's nice and pixely, but then, that's yeah, blurry. It's real heckin' blurry. I wish I knew how to shrink things without anti-aliasing. I guess for now I can just make it move up. Ugh. Yeah, it looks like there's just, like, a line of grass, and these this is just a straight wall. I meant for it to, like, look like it's in the background, you know? Like, you know... Oh, right, I don't have my tablet anymore. Like, it's, like, sloped. You know? Well, whatever. Let me just save it. And... Close out of this. And now we're gonna focus on Dwarf Fortress again. So <clears throat> so I just did the dumbest fucking thing. I just unplugged my microphone, thinking it was my tablet. Just, uh, hey. oh, that was that was the last section of the episode. I meant to uh, rename it. I accidentally double clicked. Okay, so twenty three v one d f part one or p p one. I've been trying to keep track of which videos are where much better, because I end up with, like, piles of default name files, and it's confusing. Anyway, so, since we've got more things, let me switch to Dwarf Tavern music from World of Warcraft. I like the Dwarven Tavern music the best for, like, you know, atmosphere, but aesthetically I like the Pirate Tavern music the best. See, because the Dwarven Tavern music, it's not, like, all party all the time. It's like, you know, haha, this is a jolly atmosphere, my good fellows, my fellow beardlings. Interest you in a pint? That's what the dwarves say. Still no idea what I put up there, and down here we gotta start digging out. Okay, that's where we're gonna keep the food. I guess, uh, we'll make little tunnels to where we're gonna do the beer making okay I'm I'm trying to make these so that they won't intersect with each other you know um there that'll work right oh boy Ugh. I can put a little door. Okay. Yeah. That makes up for it. Okay. And... Yeah. Oh, shoot. Wrong position. God dang... Nope, that is the right position that time. Honestly, these are pretty generous rooms. They're like the size... They're like... Almost the size of... Of the citizens' houses. Shows how much they care about foreigners here, huh? They're like one of those places that every every guru recommends you visit. Okay, so here's going to be like a little uh, plant stockpile. Here's going to be the still. And uh, over here is going to be a little, I don't know, big food stockpile. I don't know, I don't really need the plant stockpile to be very big, because it's mostly going to take from, um... Ah! Now, I don't want a special plant stockpile. I want this to be like a, a wine cellar over here. Yeah? There. That's got room for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight drinks. Just, you know, for aesthetics purposes. Um, there's gonna be the still. I can put another one over there if I ever have 
the labor requirement. Here's going to be like a little cave place rather than a dugout cellar. And we're going to put the food here. Okay. Remember, we're not going for straight above ground. We're going for uh, hill dwarves. Okay, uh, that'll be the kitchen, I guess. Uh, it's going to need to be bigger because, yeah, we're going to have a lot more food now because we have other people to serve. Okay, and right here is the butcher, which I should make like a little hillock going to, huh? Little butchery hillock. It's got to be connected to both the surface and our animal friends. Uh, how about behind here? Oh boy, that's too far away. Ah, Whatever, we'll just force the dwarves to drag them all the way down here for now. If I get a more convenient place, we can work on it later. Okay, that'll work for now. Oh, but I am super sleepy. So I might be ending the episode soon. <clears throat> Oh, right, next I gotta work on the walls, huh? Or the fences, huh? That is gonna take a lot of wood. Oh, boy. Oh, gosh. Oh. Oh, man, I hope it's not too quiet, dude. Sorry. It's just the... Red, Red, Red Cliff, Red Mountain, Red Ridge Mountains, they, they were really loud for some reason. So what do you think of my little tavern, huh? Oh shit, someone's dead already! What happened? No, my dwarves are gonna be so unhappy! No, fuck off, dude! Get, get out of here! Get out of here! Go, go to the pond! Oh no. Oh no. Uh, where can I, where can I put it? Oh, boy. Uh, I need, I need a corpse, I need a corpse railway, corpse disposal system. <laughs> Behind the pillar. No, uh, it needs to be someplace my dwarves will path too easily. Uh, right here. Uh, oh, boy. There's no easy, there's no easy place. Uh, boy, um... I'm gonna have to put it to the south, huh? Yeah. And then... Eh? And then... Duh, and... There. That'll probably deposit corpses straight to the aquifer and taint our drinking water. Oh, shoot, can you even build... Can you make minecart tracks, or do you need to build them? Oh, shoot. Man, that's a serious bummer. <laughs> what happened? How, how did he die? Alcohol poisoning? Aw, oh, man. He spread rumors and then died. The gods were displeased with his wandering tongue. Oh, and, uh, I guess she's fine. Sodel's fine. <laughs> Make, mark these all for Mark. Mark. Mark all for Mark. You can do that later. Busy yourself with the corpse hallway. Oh, right. Don't mark the mark. Corpse mark. Make that real. There. Um. We're gonna need. Um. Minecart. We're gonna need a minecart. You. Minecart, minecart. And minecart. There. What a selfish man! Came here just to kill himself. Oh, good. Saving. Yeah, great. Whatever. 
Hey, on the bright side, at least we have more clothes to sell now. <laughs> you know what I should do? I should get my dwarves, like, some daggers or maces or something. Just, you know, keep them equipped at all times, just in case. You know, just in case someone decides to go werebeast in the middle of, of drinking. Wait! Oh, right, there is no aquifer down here. Right! Dang, dude. Alright, let me just uh, build a little corpse cave, then. Oh man, how am I gonna set that up though? Uh, uh, let me look up. Can you build trap? I mean tracks. Construction, track. Yes. Oh boy, it's way more complicated than building it with the. Oh boy. Track going south. Out of oak. Oh boy. Oh boy. North southwest. Is that what I'm looking for? Who? Okay, north and then east. Or east and then north. Wait, what? No, that one's wrong. Um Crack. North... Okay, so I'm looking for northwest. Alright. It's not that complicated once you know what the fuck you're doing. Okay. Um. Southeast. Now, the idea of this is to dispose of corpses as quickly as possible so they stress my dwarves out minimally. But unfortunately, if they put in an important corpse. I will have to send them into the absolutely horrifying mo No, I can do slabs, never mind. We don't gotta worry about it. <laughs> okay, so I'm looking, um... Looking for a ramp going north-south. Okay. Oh man, am I gonna need a mechanic to make these? Also, why can't I do it on that one, huh? What's, what's, uh, maybe because the south is blocked, huh? Who builds those? Ah, okay, anyone can build those. Great. Good, good, good. I, I wish I knew how to set up a route, though. Maybe if I set up a stockpile so that when the cart stops, it flings the thing o forward. And it will intend to go into the stockpile, but instead... Just... Fling into the void. Da -da 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 -da. What is the miner doing? Well, they're both just hanging out. <sighs> Why are these... Wait a minute. Okay, no, that's dead and missing. I thought these these uh, milkfish were on the others list, but also dead. <laughs> what are you doing? What is this guy doing? He's just hanging out in the world's smallest pond. He's just taking a swim. He's an axe man, so his coloring matches. Uh, you are the miner. Let me follow her for a little bit. Actually, you know what? I should probably end the episode, because I'm starting to get to that foggy point. <sighs> oh, but the thing is, I want to play more dwarf. Okay, she's digging now. Oh, maybe I can build the uh, thing now? Okay. And north south. Track ramp north south. Yes, I can. Okay. 
And then I want a track stop that's going to abruptly fling things. Um, fr uh, friction highest? Does high friction make them fling things? Or, um, dump on arrival? Um, dump south. Hmm. I hope that's right. I hope I'm doing it right. Okay. Hmm. How do I set up the routes? Um... Depot access, uh... Hauling. Hauling, there we go. New route, yes. Um... So I make... I make stops, right? Stop one. And stop two. How do I... How do I do the... Hmm. Alright, so stop one. Guide north in 14 days? Guide north immediately. No, I want to guide it south. Push. Push? No, push, push south. Push south? Um... Push south... And conditions advanced. Oh boy, conditions when empty, when uh, when always push immediately always. Hmm. Hmm. So, how do I set it to ah desired items? Okay. Desired item. Corpse? Okay, 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 this might work. Corpses and refuse. Okay. So, will it automatically fill with corpses? Wait, wait, wait. Uh, doop, doop, doop. Oh, shoot. Uh, boy. Uh, how do I get back to the routes? No, uh, there we go. Alright, so. Guide south immediately. And then, at this one, guide north immediately. Hmm. How do I get it to automatically come back? Uh, I guess some sacrifices have to be made, because I'm sleepy. Um, push north. Push north? Ride, guide north. Is guide where they, like... Haul it, or... Hmm. Guide north, uh... Always. Guide north, always. Um... Um... Always. Guide north, always. Okay. Set direction slash connect track. Oh, I need to assign a vehicle. Yep, that minecart. Hmm. I don't know what the set direction thing is. Guide south immediately. That's that's what I'm looking for. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. I'll see if this one works. You claim this stuff. Okay, and now we have the minecart, and is she gonna push the corpse down the minecart rails? Buddy Boo? You gonna do it? You gonna do it? Well, 
I'm too sleepy to figure out why, why it's not doing it, so I'm gonna go to bed now. <coughs> Thanks for watching. Bye. Sorry. Bye.